this is a brother Delbert, and he had uh, some uh, near-death experience he'd like to talk about today. Uh, can you say one more time that don't you talk to me? I was trying to get a wheelchair lift up on my car, and it was heavy. You know, it should have took two people, and I was going to do it myself. But I just about had it, and all at once it just dropped. And with that, I blacked out totally. And the next thing I knew, I was at the pearly gates and opened the gates and walked in, and it was just beautiful. It, you know, the gates were made of gold, and they just sparkled. They were so mm -hmm. bright. How how big is the party gate? They're huge, is all I can mm -hmm. say. You know, they so, are so it's big. not at the gate of the, the, the house here? No, no, no. Mm -hmm. They're... When they open, you know, they have a big space there. Uh, it might be like a triple driveway. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, I had blood clots in my lungs. They hurt so bad that, you know, I couldn't hardly breathe. And... I said, Jesus, would you teach me how to breathe mm -hmm. with these and I can continue to live and walk the path that you want? Or heal me totally. And I knew if I was healed totally that he was going to take me home. But he told me, he says, now, this is not your home yet. Go home. Mm -hmm. And when I woke up, I was sitting in the garage floor and looked around. And, you know, I couldn't get over. You know, here's this grabby old garage and that. But I knew that I had been in heaven. Now, but Jesus said, you've got work to do. I'll take you when the work is done. Mm -hmm. So, you know, this has been several years. But I know, you know, I can see every day things are changing. Mm -hmm. And I know my work's not done. You know, there's still people that I contact mm -hmm. with that are not saved. Mm -hmm. And that's the work he's talking about. I see. So you just said that it's not your time yet. I mean, uh, we're going we're gonna to go see him again in the future. Right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So how... How, how soon do you expect to see him back again? There's no set time. You know, it could be any time. It could be now or it could be years, two years, you know. Yeah. God don't have time wrote down. It is. No, nobody knows the day and hour. Right. And so whenever it's time, he's, he tells us to be ready in a twinkling of an eye. Mm -hmm. So you saw the pearly gate in heaven. You saw Jesus. Who, uh, what else did you see in heaven? Well, there was all kinds of beautiful flowers, trees, nothing... You can tell it has not been disturbed. You know, like the apple tree that 
Adam and Eve was told not to touch, but did. And there was, looked like the apples on this one tree that I seen was out of beauty. Uh, a basket, a bushel basket, it could hold that one apple. So you mean a lot of uh, apples yes. in one tree? Yes. How, how big is the apple? Uh, the, one, the one apple would fill the basket, it looked like to me. Oh, so the, the big apple size. Yes, yes. And, you know, like I say, nobody touches the trees, mm -hmm. and so they can produce, a, you know, unreal. They, mm -hmm. they aren't contaminated. So it must be beautiful. It is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. You know, I, there's no words that you can say to it, mm -hmm. tell how pretty mm -hmm. it is. How does but it look like uh, the flowers? There are just to, you know, like our flowers here on Earth, but they're brighter color. They're, uh, you know, and they just sparkle. And the grass is a deep green and don't look like it ever needs cut. Mm -hmm. You know, it's so, everything is just so immaculate. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I, I was just shocked mm -hmm. and I begged God to take me at that time. And he says, no, you have to go home. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you want to stay in the, in the heaven? I would love to have stayed up in heaven. Mm -hmm. And he said, no, your work is not done. Go home. Be happy. Mm -hmm. And with that, he just disappeared. Mm -hmm. You know, looked around and never seen him again. Mm -hmm. And I turned around and walked back through the gates. They closed. And a couple minutes later, or a couple seconds, I should say, I woke up and I was sitting in my garage floor mm -hmm. where I had sat when everybody was trying to put that hitch on. Mm -hmm. And then I tried that hitch again and it, it went right up and in where it was supposed to be. Mm -hmm. So he gave me the strength to do that. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah, thank you for the setting the testimony. God bless you.